Have you heard the tale of the candy man? He can chop a man down with his own candy hand. That was a Bam. shot. They're both gasping for air like they're at the top of Mount Everest. Are we in the good timeline, Sam? We're about to be in the best timeline. Mark my words. Good God, Sam Hyde is going to die and feel happy about the life he lived. Hey, no. No. I told you once, I told you twice. The candy man, he don't play nice. Men from Ireland, we don't back down. We'll turn your smile into a frown. Jump for joy and come, my friends. To the pot of gold at Rainbow's End. Sugar me biscuits, dollop the eyes. Candyman speak it with butter and fry. Caramel gloves cut through skin of lies. When Candyman sweeten the death of Dorai. Sam is a beast. Like in real life, he's massive. It, the camera doesn't do it justice. How quickly do you think his fight is ending? You know, Sam drinks so much horse blood and eats so much candy. I just think that uh, if the fight could be stopped before it started, it would be. But I, I'm, I'm going to predict a, a first round knockout. I don't think I am Thompson's violin playing skills are going to help him. After the fight, he'll be playing a very small violin to cope with the loss and the shame that came upon him. But yeah, I am Thompson's going down. He's going down hard. He's going down fast. Sam's that guy. He's him. He's the ghost of Kiev. He's number one. He's the candy man. He can't keep getting away with it, but he will keep getting away with it. Sam Hyde actually Irish, because he does the Irish candy man, but is he actually Irish? He's been elected the honorary president of Ireland. He kind of represents Ireland as a whole. He is Ireland. Um, Conor McGregor reached out to him in the DMs and said, thank you for all you do. You are the candy man. And do you think Sam Hyde is going to continue fighting after this? This could be Sam's one and only fight, but if Hassan Piker actually grows a pair of balls and wants to defend his honor, then he will be fighting Sam Hyde. But he won't do that because it's too much of a risk. He's going to stream on Twitch. He's a little golden boy. He's going to have all his little fans in his audience, and that's what he's going to do. I have zero respect for Hassan. He wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for racism. I think he, he, he adds a lot of division to this world. He, he doesn't bring anyone together, right? Alpha males should have some amount of physical prowess. If you don't, then you're just an intellectual. You don't act like you're some tough guy, you know what I mean? And I'm not an alpha male, but these guys definitely aren't alpha males. Uh, Sam Hyde, he seems like a bit of a crazy dude. What, what's your opinion on him? I think he's gonna come out like a madman. Um, he's an interesting character, so who knows what to expect. I don't even know where he's been this whole time. I think he's scared. You haven't had a, thrown a punch. You haven't been hit in the face before? Uh, I can take it. I've, I've had a few good sparring sessions where I've been hit pretty hard, so I think I'm ready for this. Why are you so popular? What's made you so famous? I am Thompson. I play the violin. I've been playing since I was eight years old. What's the violin uh, motif? Uh, so I play violin to hip-hop music, and then the girls dance to it while I play it. You know, it gets, gets, gets the girls going. So. But this is kind of a different thing, you know, put the violin down for violence instead. It's, so. it's <laughs> like polar opposites. It's a little different. Instead of practicing my scales and practicing head, uh, hitting a heavy bag every day. You've got a pretty... Um, outlandish opponent in yes. Sam the Irish. Tell me about the fight, the matchup, what we're going to wait to see. Uh, he's an interesting character. Um, when I heard about the fight, I looked up Sam and he's, yeah, he's a character for sure. He's a very weird guy. I don't think you, have, you know what to expect from the guy. He could come out like a crazy man, crazy man or he could be chill. Who knows? He's like he's impossible to read. So it's going to make for an interesting fight, that's for sure. So your opponent, what do you know about him? I don't know. Hopefully he's giving out some candy afterwards though. Tell me about how this came about for you. Uh, my manager said, hey, you want to fight somebody in a couple months? I was like, yeah, why not? And here we are, so we're going to get it done. Yeah. Who's more experienced in the ring? I think he's had more experience than me, but I think my um, cardio is better than his. He looks like he knows how to throw a punch. And, you know, both of us are over 240 pounds, so two big boys going at it. So I think somebody, with the 10-ounce gloves, I think somebody's going to get knocked out. It's going to be him. They got us fighting in 10-ounce gloves, and we both weigh 250 pounds. So. And I'm sure we both hit really hard. I know I hit hard. Talk about the fight. How do you think the fight plays out then on Saturday? Um, I think I'll knock him out within the three rounds. You can't say I think. You have to be more... Right, I'm going to knock him out, right? In the second round. There you go. Be so honest. your prediction... I think he's going to get tired. You're going to knock him out round one? I think I'm going to let him wear himself out and get a little tired. Look at that energy. You can't keep that shit up. How long does that last? 30 seconds, one minute. So I'm going to play a cool, smart, calculated, figure the guy out and then go for the chin. Because I'm going to like, you know, feel him out first round, see how things are, and then go for the kill. Do you think it's going to be fight of the night? I hope so. It's extra money if it is. You get extra money if it's a knockout? I think so. Have you seen much, much of him? 
yeah, much of his videos. Here and there. I think he's. At, I think it's actually him there. Oh, oh laddie, <laughs> I hope your appetite for candy is wet. Oh, I had some chocolate this morning. As so wet as the go. gel in your hair. The gel is. I'm going to get you. The candy man's going to the get you. The candy man's coming. Can you believe it? This lad. The audacity of this lad. <laughs> Don't step on those. Hey, the candy man. He's here. <laughs> If we just look in the ring now, so we got Sam Hyde in there. He's looking very out of breath though. He looks very tired. It's not a good sign, being this out of breath in a media workout. I guess it can also show how hard he has been working. I mean, good luck with this weight. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what to expect with this guy. You never know what you're going to get. Let's get one last statement. Your opponent standing right there. Your last message to him for Saturday night. Your only chance, Dan, is to repent. And to say that the British are... Ladies and gentlemen, the Candyman, Sam Ha! I felt like I was hearing a Shakespearean like Vikings before going to war or something. Like this guy's getting ready for war. Very intense. Very intense. Very he was intense. he was poking Wade in the chest. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back to Boxing Social in association with Betfred. My name is Eamon Khan. I'm here with the one and only Sam Hyde. Sam, how are you, how you doing? doing? Oh, I'm doing great, Donic. Right, Thank you for asking. I hope that wasn't just an icebreaker question. That's quite a mouthful there, lad. That's quite a few things to remember. I'm not going to remember any of that. You should just change all of that to one word. Like, you could change your name to Window. That's why you just say Window and people know to go to your channel and talk to you. I'm Window. Why don't you do that, lad? Window's not a bad name, but... Um, well, you're really asking how I'm doing. Do you want to yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. How are you really doing, Sam? Do you want to talk for half an hour with me about my stresses and various stressors in life? I mean, I've got time. I'm fine. You've got a picture. You're wearing a Bruce Lee shirt. Can't see it just on camera, but Bruce Lee, a massive figure in combat fighting. Oh, no, lad. That's a common misconception. This is Tommy Morrison, the greatest fighting man to ever live before he got AIDS. Um, KSI versus Swarms, how's it going? What? Oh, he's going to beat the black off that boy. But I'll tell you what, that Irishman KSI, he's going to turn Swarms green. What about KSI's second opponent, the Mexican in the main event? That guy's f awesome. KSI's fighting two people, he opens the card, you get to fight in front of a packed out house. Different, any more pressure on that one? Oh, I just hope I don't sh me pants, which I've done quite a few times in training, and that's not a joke. Deji versus Fousey. Oh, Deji versus Fousey. Of I course I'm going with Fousey. He's a killer. He's a trained killer like the IRA. He'll put a car bomb in your car. Final words, final words. Final words. Be nice to your mum. Anything else? No. I am Thompson is the opponent. He seems very confident that he's going to, he said to me, I'll see your face on the canvas. I'll see you lying down on the canvas. Can I get you to send a final message to Sam Hyde? Sam Hyde, see you Saturday night. Thanks so in canvas. Is that going to happen, Sam? Well, if he does, he might see me pants first. Either way, there's going to be brown on this canvas by the time it's done. Sam, you were deemed a business risk on other cards. You're on this weekend. Are you a business risk heading into this one? Oh, window. I think I'm only a business risk if I start listening to the voice. Mr. Hyde, talk to me a little bit about the energy that you... Are you a post office worker? Don't look like a, don't look like a... people dress so badly. People around here, they wear clothes that you find in like bins. And it's not like a class thing, it's like all classes, they all dress like shit. They got like zip off pants. That was like in 2005 in the States, you know what I mean? The pants where you zip it off and you got shorts on. Don't, you can't wear those anymore, that's not cool. You people are savages, it's so cramped, it's so packed, it's the population density is so insane, the drivers are so bad. This place. Just kidding, actually, no, I'm just kidding, that's not nice. But it is all the things I just said. I can't understand how you can do anything. And the driver, the drivers are f***ing loopy. They're playing FIFA while they're driving. It's crazy. UK, lovely chaps. A lot of ugly girls. Have you, have you noticed that? I can't say. Yes, you can. You know what I'm talking about. They wear so much makeup. Their faces are smashed in. They have small faces. They have small asses. They dress, they have like tube tops, tube tops and high-waisted tights. Damn, could you look any worse? Oh my God. But hey, I love the people, the earth people, I love them. The candy man has come up. Is it going to be a night of horror in store for I Am Thompson? It's going to be a night from Irish legend. The tale of the candied reaper. A 3,000 year old tale predating. Look it up, it's uh, 
I'm, not, I'm sorry, man. I don't know. Talk to me about those glasses that you're wearing, because those are outlandish. This is an Irish cultural thing, ma'am. Well, elaborate on that. I need to know about that. Educate our viewers on that Irish culture with those glasses. It's like this. Do you have half an hour for me to read it to your last? Not half an hour. Can you summarize it in 30 seconds? I can do the 15 minute version. Oh, my face ID is not working. He says he says he thinks you're scared, but a man telling riddles doesn't strike me as a man that's that scared. You seem pretty uh, confident. Okay. Talk me through this outfit, please, sir. You mean my clothes, lad? Yeah. This is what all Irish people wear every day because it's cold up in Ireland. Don't you know anything about Ireland, lad? Have you ever been there? I've been to Belfast. Have you seen the suffering? No candy anywhere in the streets. You've been drinking horses' blood. Are you going to turn into a senator in the ring? I've been drinking the blood of the homeless. It's the least I could do to help them out. They have excess blood. I collect it at night. With this fight, I'll be bringing candy to all the poor children of Ireland. Why candy? What else is the purpose of life except to eat candy? Are you crazy? Are you dumb? What's wrong with you? When was the last time you had a piece of candy? Didn't it uplift you? Didn't it give you hope? Didn't it give you meaning? What's wrong with your lad? Why boxing, Sam? Why? I just really need views. I'm desperate for views. I doubt it. I need it, man. I have this deep emptiness in me. I gotta fill it with famousness. I need it. The, uh, the real answer is that there's this guy, Hassan Piker, and I want to legally kill him. And I'm trying to call him out and find a way to get, you know, him to, to bait him into fighting me. So hopefully that'll happen. If it doesn't, I'll just I'll just go back to playing video games all day. It's fine. You've seen Thompson now. You've been around him. You think he's a man. You think he's not ready for you. Oh, the man, he smells like a blow pop. <laughs> he's got the taste of candy about him, and I'm going to eat. How do you see the fight going? It's two heavyweights. Um, do, you, do you see a knockout for yourself? I'm going to make it as quick and painless as possible, believe you me. It'll be like breaking open a Cadbury egg. It'll be just like that. Oh, I think it'll be a pillowy and sweet knockout for the lad. He'll be out of there quickly. As quickly as you can unwrap a wobbitabulous wonder, wonder bar. It's going to be a fight. I'll tell you that. It's going to be a blood fest. It's going to be an orgy of violence. It's going to be the end of the world. There's going to be 500 million people burning. In the apocalypse, you're going to see a reckoning that's been in the works since Black 47. When the Irish famine hit and it killed millions of people and the English sat back and did nothing, I'm going to get revenge. All right, well, that sounds pretty good then. What are you YouTubers going to bring to the game? Us, you us YouTubers, we bring real boxing. We're not like that fake boxing you see, that Canelo Alvarez and that Tyson Fury, these fakers, these pro wrestlers who get in there and fake it. They get up there and they throw the fights, they put on a show for money, but it's not real fighting. I've long said that boxing is entirely fake, much like the WWE. Us YouTubers, we're the real deal. <laughs> real fighting's done in uh, the streets. Do you feel like you could be a, a WWE star at some point? I think wrestling, you have to be able to put your persona on for like 30 minutes. I can do, I'm like tired, like I'm sweating right now. You should feel my lower back. When those cameras off, you can touch my lower back. I'm, I'm just drenched after like- I'm not touching your lower back. Um, have you got a f have you, uh, any other horror film uh, acts that you want to replicate or is it just the candy man? What the, f what the f Can we get a shot of the flag please? Yeah. What? I said, can we get a shot of the flag and you raised it? Yes, you can. Sam like sold this fight from beginning to end because we did these press conferences, right? And he was putting on this whole Irish thing. <laughs> have you heard much Irish folklore? I haven't heard a lot, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. When you were a wee lad growing up in Ireland, and you looked out and you saw the green grass and the blue sky, did they ever teach you any of the old songs from the old days? It's called the Death of Dol Rye. It goes like this. I told you once, I told you twice. The candy man, he don't play nice. Men from Ireland, we don't back down. We'll turn your smile into a frown. True Irish remember the tale of William Wallace, the first alpha male. <laughs> <laughs> His ghost of the isle fights by my side. It is to him to whom I confide. I am Thompson. I want a prediction for this fight. What are you seeing happening on Saturday night? How do you get this done? It's going to go out there. I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to swing, keep up the energy, and then knock out Sam in the second round. Well, lad, when you were growing up in Ireland, did you ever hear perhaps the Candyland song? <laughs> Sweet sugary adversaries are perfect for the munching. With a hankering for confectionaries, my fists are hungry for punching. First I'll gingerly ginger snap his candy coated pretzel arms in half. Then I'll buttery pop gumdrop smack him to the chocolatey canvas with a stop. In the marshmallow ring the ropes look like twizzlers. 
Body shots to my jelly belly merely give me a snicker. <laughs> I'll pumpkin crumb cream crunch punch his powder donut head until the juniper belly jelly jam comes tumble bumble squeezing out of his neck. <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. He was just talking about like the best Irishman for 2,000 years. He said you're the greatest Irishman. I am the greatest Irish. That's right, lad. I am the greatest Irishman of the past 2,000 years. There's been a lot of good Irishmen, to be fair. Name one. Name one. <laughs> He's got me there. That's right. I'm an Irish nationalist. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get confused when I said it? What kind of dog? Were you confused when I said I was the greatest Irishman of the past 2,000 years? You doubt the veracity of that. The, the Candyman does not truck in lie nor fib. And then in the weigh-ins, he literally got in my face in the weigh-ins and came up to me. I did not expect this at all and was like, I'm wet like a dolphin, Thompson. <laughs> 255 pounds. And now his opponent, the greatest Irishman in the past 2,000 years from South Boston, Rhode Island, USA. He is the Candyman, Big Sam Hart. Think of I am Thompson after fucking looking into that guy's eyes. He's bold. I'll give him that. I would be scared of me. I don't know. I'm sc I'm nervous for him. Honestly, I feel like butterflies. I feel queasy thinking about smashing through his teeth. It was crazy. That's a surreal experience, you know. I feel like that's a you'll never experience. That you should never experience playing violin. Bro, it's wild. It makes no sense at all. Look at my V taper. Look at my perfect abs. Ah! Oh, hi lad. I'm dripping wet like a dolphin right now. I can feel it. Yeah. Can you smell it? Yeah, yeah. Can you sense it with your pheromones? All of them. Your primordial sense? Yeah. Oh, laddie. It's going to be a brutal beating attack. When you say it's a brutal beating, what do you have in store for Ryan Thompson tomorrow night? I'm going to give him a lot of lucky charms, but it's going to be filled with rocks, pebbles, and bricks. That was a bit weird, wasn't it? Why did, what do dolphins have to do in boxing? Define your definition of dripping. Well, I'm so, I'm so pumped full of illegal dolphin hormones right now. I'm basically a fish. I also haven't known since Tuesday, which is where I came up with the idea I'm dripping. So I've been pissing pre so I thought it would be funny if I started yes, saying you like this. I thought it would be mad funny if I just was screaming, I'm dripping. Because it's true. My girl said that when I get back, she's going to milk me like a prostitute. And that made that only made the problem worse. Any final words? You're still dripping, yeah? Oh, lad. I won't stop dripping till I get home. I thought if you were going to go for like an animal, that's like a fighting animal. Yeah. Maybe like tiger. Yeah. Even if you're going sea creatures, kill a whale. Why, why the dolphin? That's what I want to know. You just, you won't understand until you get absolutely wet. I'm dripping wet, lad. So, so you're, you're aroused by this whole situation then? Well, it's not a state of arousal. It's, oh, you can get close, don't worry. Yeah? It's not a state of arousal, it's more a, a state of ascension. I can smell that. It's August 26th, the night before the fight. How are you feeling, Sam? No, I'm just, I'm ready to be done with this. The training makes me sick. You must feel great. You must feel on top of the world. I feel like I'm afflicted by some unknown, like some new monkey pox is going to come out. And I think, oh, Sam hides patient zero of funky pox. Oh, it turns out I was just had funky pox this whole time. I feel like physically depleted all day. It's probably my sodium levels. When you step into that ring tomorrow, I mean, what's your mindset? I just have to make sure not to get gassed out and not to feel the nerves too much because my skills are better than his. Physically, I'm just going to truck through them. Pretty straightforward. It's just gonna happen and then I'm gonna get more famous and it's just the way it's gonna be. Hey, this is the one I'm most excited about. It's got a little bit of a WWE feel to it. Sam Hyde has become his own character, but according to those in the know, he can really crack. 37 years old, six foot five, weighed in at 261 pounds. He'll have a five inch reach advantage. Don't blink on this one. Both these guys are so big and such heavy hitters. A clean shot and it could be lights out. Shouldn't take long. <laughs> the bigger yeah. they are, the harder they fall. Fight starts. Sam comes and meets him in the middle. Jab cross from Sam. He's got him. Got him against the cage early. Got him against the cage. Sam staying calm. Got his hands low. Hit him with the cross. 
Takes a lot of energy when you swing and miss. Sam pumps the jab out there. We might find out who has the better gas tank. That has been the conversation around this fight. Who has the stamina? Oh, oh clipped him coming in. Oh, Over commitment there from Sam Hyde. This is three Let's rounds, go, fighting nine minutes possibly. Keeping his distance. Nice body shot from I am Thompson. Thompson seems to be winging that hook very sloppily. But Sam Hyde isn't really throwing a lot, and when he is, he's quite slow. Sam's picking his moment, waiting to swarm him. He's making sure he's not losing his stamina. Nice Beautiful right hand body. there by Sam Hyde. Thompson looks gassed right now. Big swing and a miss from Thompson. He's telegraphing it every time. I think one of them is going to gas to the point of really not being able to even hold their hands up soon. It's Get in his face, Sam! Pressure! Hey, and this may come down to the judges, and I think I am Thompson could win this round. Good round. One round done. I'll be honest, my opinion on that, I think Sam lost that first round. But I know Sam's trying to conserve his energy. Sam needs a bit more output. He needs to control the breathing a bit better. He should be fine. He's a lot better of a boxer. I think he's going to pick his moment. He's going to pour it on. He's going to finish him. They're both gasping for air like they're at the top of Mount Everest. Right. Whatever game plan you think you have going into the ring, yeah. it goes out the window. Because when you're under those bright lights and the yeah. stress of like a fighting situation, yeah. everything that you were trained to do, you just yeah. don't do it. You can see, they're both massive dudes. Like Sam Hyde is like six foot five. And look at the size of these dudes. They are huge, right? You would expect just massive punch. And that's what Sam tried, but doesn't work in real life. And Hyde obviously learns from this uh, because he, he's, he basically boxes like Homer Simpson. Have you seen the Simpsons episode where he just takes punches until the opponent is exhausted? Then poof. Right. It's a brilliant strategy. It's a brilliant strategy, especially if you're built like Sam Hyde. Jab him up, Sam! Oh, there we go. All he's got is those wild hooks, Thompson. And this could be a jab fest and he'd win it. I'm telling you. He's going to throw that right hand. There, Sam finally getting off one of those heavy hooks he has. Finally. Sam hitting him with some shots now. I think Sam's waiting to put on the power. I feel like someone's about to go to sleep soon. By exhaustion. There you go. There it is again. There you go. Put it on him! He's hurt! This is becoming a brawl! Ladies and gentlemen! Hyde is hurting Thompson now. Great round for Sam, completely dominant. He can finish this fight if he can channel all of the anger of the last six years in these three minutes. He has a knockout in him in this fight. I'm too emotionally invested in this. I know. That's crazy. Let's see who's in better physical condition. I'm excited to see how this ends in this final round. There's a nice jab from Sam. Turn it up, Sam, last round! Listen. Wow, there Thompson's you go. going for it. But notice, you can see it very clearly there. Hyde essentially like triggers him out, and then he, oh, massive blow, but it doesn't really do anything to Hyde. You know, he's, he's hitting him in like non-vital areas, right? Body shots hurt way more. But the, the amount of effort it gets Hyde to like get him to expend twice the effort in a massive throw, like doesn't work. It's a huge moment in the fight. It swings this round completely in Sam's favor, and it swings the fight in Sam's favor. First count of the fight. Get out of the way! <laughs> Another Whoa. big one. Oh, oh that's a bad one. Him. That is a bad one. Get him! Another, another count. He's on wobbly legs now, Thompson. He's tired. Thompson's rocked. You can see that Thompson is just staggering on his feet from all of this expended A mercy stoppage. He it. did it. This is incredible. What a moment. Let's go, Sam! Come here, brother. Come on up. What a moment. Man, Sam, I'm so proud of you. I know it takes a lot of balls to come in here in this arena. There's 20,000 people watching, putting it all on the line, risking losses, risking embarrassment. I just want to say, you know, you won, but win or, win or lose, I would have been proud of you. Great work, dude. It's, it's, it's incredible to see you go out here and do this. So. Amazing. When you're a big boy like that, you got a lot of power. Obviously, you're going to get tired, but he oh, pulled it on at the end. He put it on him, and that's what he needed to secure the big W. That's West Side, but also W. Candyman! The Candyman! He's 260 pounds with, with abs. You po abs are poking. He's a big boy. Yeah. I've got to give it to Ian Thompson, man. There is no shame that comes out of this boxing match. This is just glory for both of them. Like, because like even if you lose, like, okay, would you fight Sam Hyde? No. <laughs> exactly. Of course you wouldn't. Right, so he did. And... Uh, afterwards, Hassan, uh, uh, Hassan, Sam Hyde actually manages to kind of stay in character for, of course, the now famous uh, ending call out. You want to call out in the heavyweight division? Oh, you know it, lad. No. I'm coming to <laughs> you! I'm going to stalk him and become obsessed with him and wear his makeup. 28 and his dresses, months, Pac-Man. And use his skin as a coat, like the ancient Irish did. Well, well you said what? So, uh, 
That was it. What yeah, is what happening? What do I say to that? But it was like the most awesome thing ever because he like actually, he really built the hype for the fight, which I think yeah, was awesome. Yeah, so he yeah, really yeah. sold it. So he thank you, Sam, for that, day, yeah. for literally selling the fight. He's gonna eat Hassan like a peppermint candy. Get out from behind your computer screen and do something like a real man. Step out here, risk something, f***ing coward. Yes! And then, because we did go three rounds, I think we put on a good show for everybody. Yeah. I'm really grateful that it was with Sam, after yeah. all that. I know Sam is so tired right now. You know he's exhausted. Let's get my man back to America. Let's get him a blow, you know what I mean? He's earned it, come on. What I'm hoping is, when I get back to America, I'm gonna go out to Rhode Island, visit him, yeah. and maybe he'll give me some uh, Irish wisdom. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Boxing Social in association with Betfred. My name is Still Window with the one and only now victorious one and only Sam Hyde. You're, you really you're, you're really getting your money's worth with my joke there. You should be paying me. I should be paying you indeed, but you've just got paid now with the victory, with the win. What's your reaction? Sam? That's right, I got paid $15,000. Don't you forget it. Well worth it. Radio Raheem with Sam Hyde. Well, all right. Straight out of the 80s. <laughs> I've seen you in the movie. Was it breaking? No, breaking. Radio Raheem. Breaking. Listen, man, that was a more difficult match maybe than you had anticipated. I had no idea what a real fight was like, to be honest with you, sir. <laughs> Can you tell me, did the training pay off? Oh, the training paid off in spades, brother. You've seen it yourself. You saw the results out there. I was pooching him in his lucky charms, getting him in his clover moons. I was breathing heavy. I was out there looking like my mom. Well, talk to me about what you did in uh, build up for this fight to keep your stamina good. Uh, I smoked Nat Sherman's, which are a higher quality cigarette. They're more expensive, but I was able to use survive some of my lung power with that. Let's see. Did you withhold your chi? That's, uh, that's part of the process. I read that David Hay does that for six weeks, I think. Was it easy? Was it holding my semen in easy? No, what do you think? <laughs> Every 10 seconds I was telling my girl, dance Famous. for me now. I'll break up with you. Just do a dance. I tried the retention. I tried Eastern style. Don't think it worked though. I still got tired. Are you yeah. ready to fight again? When are we gonna see in the ring? No, no, f that. F you, I'm out of here. I'm out of here, Raheem. Oh, me knees are creaking. Me ankles are bunched up. Me wrists got cysts in them. Me elbows are folded up like pretzels. It's, yeah, no, I'm, I'm 37, man. I'm ready to, I'm ready to die. He's gonna retire undefeated. That's right. <laughs> a boxer like me, listen. A real boxer like me. Retiring undefeated, that's that's the icing on the cake. You seem to lay on thick with him there and catch him a couple of times. Uh, what did Speak you, English! What did you feel to set up the finish in the third round? What were you seeing? I didn't do anything to set it up. It set itself up. Just like my ma's famous potato and marshmallow soup. A medical room, this is a medical room. I'll you out. No worries, cheers. You an idiot! I'm on medical. Sam, <laughs> final, <laughs> Sam, final <laughs> question. People wonder a lot about you, but I wonder, have you, found, have you found out more about the real Sam Hyde now through this journey in boxing? Yes, he's gay. Boy, that's a tough night out there. Yeah, he's boxing a big guy. Is, <laughs> it's a little bit tougher maybe than you thought. He's a tough guy. And he's big. And he's heavy when he weighs on you. <sighs> any of those shots, you landed some good shots. You feel like any of those hurt him? I think so. I think we gave each other some good blows. He didn't do any damage at all. I felt fine. I did. I didn't take any damage. I was just blowing my gas, blowing through my gas tank, because I was being, I was being too athletic. He kept spamming the same big looping hook over and over. Big looping hook. Big looping yeah, hook. Well, that's that's kind of probably the only weapon that he, that he had because my my jab range is longer. He got me in the back of the head with some overhand rights, but it didn't. Uh, there was no point where the the fear was his punches. It was just I was I knew I was blowing through my energy fast. Luckily, he, he blew through it faster. He threw those those overhands that didn't uh, didn't connect, which are that's an expensive punch to throw and not connect with. You f threw the first shot, and when you took a shot, just describe me how it felt. I was just not uh, I refused to lose at that point. I was walking the walkout. I knew that I had to do what I had to do, like a good Irish boy. Well, can, when you're in that ring, can you hear anything? No, it's just like, it's like um it's, it's like sparring, but it's just more elevated. Yeah, like the inte the um. Super intensity, but you don't you don't see the crowd. I was screeching like a banshee. Yeah, bro. In the third, because I knew it was one and one, I was going, turn it up! I was like, yeah. I'm losing my mind. Right. I'm not a good yeller. I feel like I sounded like a little schoolgirl. Oh, yeah. 20,000 people in attendance, probably over a million people watching online. Historic event. I mean, this is, uh, this is something for the books. This is something that you can hang your hat on. Good God, Sam Hyde is going to die and feel happy about the life he lived. What a man. I mean, if you go to no compromise. I mean, what, what a hell of a... <laughs> What a hell of a you know, oh, resume. Shooting in terrorism hoaxes. Where's that entry on my Wikipedia page? Where's my <laughs> Wikipedia page? And this man 
also had an Adult Swim comedy sketch show. <laughs> it's incredible. Keemstar and, and uh, Yusuf, uh, Happy Punch Promotions. I'm very thankful to be a part of this. It's it's massive. It's like a, the scale of the event is just unbelievable. Being there, 20,000 people, seeing all that, seeing all the behind the scenes action. I've never seen that scale before, you know, in my professional career. Now this is way, way more hype than Adult Swim. We did up, we did up fronts, <laughs> but this is extremely way more hype than anything I've ever seen in uh, Hollywood. Was there any apprehension when Keem, like obviously he goes to bat for you because he's your promoter with, with Happy Bunch. When he went to Misfits and was like, we've got this guy, I don't, didn't necessarily want to work with him or, or did they just put you on there right away? Uh, I th I think they just signed up. Idubs didn't want to work with me for personal reasons. Right. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks to Keemstar, and uh, Yusuf, obviously, mm -hmm. and also KSI for. I'm sure. I'm sure KSI knows what the backstory is. Yeah. And he's letting me be on this card. I mean, that's that's huge. KSI. There's there's no way 50 people didn't go up to him and like you you letting Sam hide. You know he's a bad boy. And he let he let this go through. And also he saved the event by fighting two people, which is kind of fucking insane. So thanks to these guys and Misfits Boxing for letting me be here. Like, have you been enjoying, uh, you must have done, I don't know how many interviews this week, and no one has asked you about the alt right, no one has yeah, asked yeah. you about Adult Swim until right now. It's kind of nice, isn't it? Yeah, no. Uh, and, but, well, it's, it's, it's half and half because I've had to do this <laughs> character, which has been, I'm, I'm, if I never do an Irish accent again, I'll be all set after this. Anything else you want to say to the people before we, we cut and enjoy, enjoy ourselves? Uh... Stop watching porn, you sickos, you sick freaks. Stop it. Cut it out. Final messages, look at me neck sweat. Look at me neck sweat and enjoy it. Look at it.